Bravo, Kinder. Bravo, man, alle bravo. Bravo, Kinder. For Gunther, the circus is his life. It's not man over beast, but man in harmony with beast. If you cannot learn it from him, I think you can learn it from nobody else. He really made a difference every time he walked into the arena. I don't know if there will ever be another Gunther. He was the uncontested Lord of the Rings, the greatest animal trainer of all time. In a career that spanned half a century, he earned countless entertainment awards, took the art of animal training to seemingly unattainable heights, and captured the hearts and minds of the American public. This is the story of a man whose life changed the face of the American circus forever. This is the story of Gunther Gable Williams. Perhaps fittingly, the man who would one day usher in a new era for the circus began as an usher for Germany's Circus Williams. But the 12-year-old was a prodigy in disguise. By age 15, Gunther had blossomed into a gifted stunt rider and soon after began training for what became his life's work, the demanding world of animal training. His unprecedented acts transformed natural enemies in the wild into cooperative co-stars in the ring. The name Gunther Gable Williams began to spread like a legend in the making across Europe and across the Atlantic. It was in the summer of 1968 in Hanover, Germany. My father had just bought the circus the November before, and his idea was to create a second unit of The Greatest Show on Earth. For this, he needed some star that would really make it work. He had heard about Gunther, he had seen Gunther, he had told me about Gunther, but until I saw this guy perform, you couldn't believe what he could do. And Mr. Phillips was very nice from the beginning and said, come to America, and said, sure, sure, I come to America. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road, beginning with the newest star of the greatest show on earth, the greatest animal trainer I have ever met. Gunther Gable Williams! His big hesitancy was, would he be accepted by the American public? When Gunther Gable Williams walked into the great cage, the American audience witnessed not an act of combat, but an act of communion. He taught the world that humans and animals should live and work together in harmony. It was a new mentality brought into the circus. Today, everybody does it. We take it for granted, but Gunther paved the way. It was a new form of courage, talking softly to the animals, and America opened her heart to the newest star of the greatest show on earth. For his part, Gunther Gable Williams had fallen in love with his adopted country. I think it was the best decision in our life, to go here, be here, and we love this country. I've been a very proud American today. This is the place I believe I make my last move in this country. We've been making circus uh, Americano in, in Ita Italy for years. So we're always walking around with cowboy hats and cowboy boots and trying to be really, really Americans. I run around in Germany with a cowboy hat and still use him every day. The resounding success of Gunther Gable Williams' debut with The Greatest Show on Earth catapulted him into the realm of entertainment superstardom. He appeared on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Where do I put it? <laughs> hosted his own network television special. And filmed a now classic commercial for American Express. It's easier to carry this than this. 
but it was in the circus arena itself that Gunther's star shone most brightly. Magnificent Bengal Tigers, trained and exhibited by the incomparable Gunther Gable Williams. All this pomp, all this circumstance is for the Lord of the Rings, Gunther Gable Williams and his 18 Siberian and Royal Bengal Tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gunther Gable Williams. Barbara, you got a friend. Barbara, you got a friend. Gunther's animals had a friend too. In the national media, Gunther was now being referred to as the world's greatest animal trainer. He truly considered them to be his co-stars in the ring. I try never put my animals in any way down. I like to have this own personality, teach him to respect me and I respect him very much. And I think this comes very clear in my performing. To each performance, Gunther brought a quiet authority and his own sense of playfulness. Hey, you! He worked hard to make it look easy. And when his work was done, he found the comfort and support of his close-knit family. When I make practice, I start in the morning with tigers and uh, with horses, laughter and with elephants. When I come home, I'm be beaten. So you have a very, very, very supporting family. And I have this. That's very important. I have a great family. This depth of feeling, this dedication to his family, his animals, and to the circus has earned Gunther the lasting respect of his fellow performers. They've seen the, the love that he has for the animals and the love that he has for really everyone. He was the energy source for all of us. And when the lights hit him, it was even brighter. And it just illuminated all of us. He's never, ever missed a show. That's, that's unbelievable. In 21 years, nearly 10, maybe over 10,000 shows, he's never missed a show. From the first moment Gunther performed the Ringing Brothers Barn and Bell, I've been looking for the next Gunther. That may be the challenge of my lifetime. In a brief but moving ceremony at the last performance of his farewell tour, Gunther received a letter of congratulations from the President of the United States and was presented with a sterling silver sculpture uniquely designed by Tiffany's. But to Gunther, perhaps his greatest contribution was passing on his legacy to his son, Mark. I think Gunther's greatest joy was to see how Mark developed uh, as a performer, as a trainer, as a human being. To see the love his father had and for that to be uh, passed on has made Gunther very, very proud. Gunther made many people proud. From that first entrance long ago, our hearts belong to him. We came, we saw, he conquered. Time and again, he made headlines. Time and again, he made history performing for over 200 million people in his three decades with the greatest show on earth. Those who have seen him perform speak of his compassion, understanding, showmanship, his grace and style in the ring. Those who know him as a friend and fellow performer speak of the grace and style with which he has chosen to live his life. His heart belongs to his fans. His name belongs to the ages. Gunther Gable Williams. It isn't just the ability to perform. It's much deeper. It's the heart and soul. It's the spirit. That's what Gunther always had. I've been together with animals for 40 years, and uh, I never would say goodbye. You have to love it. I love every minute.